Thank you. You ask questions, I try to answer. If you have no questions, I ask you questions and you try to answer. <laughs> The first question, first question is why is the sky blue? It's an easy answer. Who knows the answer? Exactly. That's the way Krishna wants it. If you don't like blue skies, there's not much you can do about it, right? It's the, it's the way Krishna likes it. So, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare. Okay, everyone, hold on. We're doing some dramatic work here. Don't go anywhere. Okay. Namah Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prasthaya Bhutale Shri Mati Bhakti Vedanta Shami Niti Nani Namaste Sarasvati Devi Vey Gaura Vani Pachayane Vesesa Sindhari Prasthaya Vesitani so we, this used to be called Vyasa San. Lately it's called the hot seat. Because we're getting many controversial questions lately. So you can ask anything you want. Nothing's too hot for the hot seat. Whatever is on your mind, whatever doubt you have, whatever controversies in your mind, you can ask them. Hmm. Hey Krishna Karshani, you started off. <laughs> oh man, I always have like one million intense questions. Um, may, maybe on the question from the morning that I didn't, uh, didn't ask because there was no time. Uh, and there was a question, yeah, controversial question actually. Uh, yeah, very controversial <laughs> regarding chanting 16 rounds. Mm. Uh, because in the morning during the class you said that mm, uh, Shri Prabhupada made a deal with Krishna uh, that if you're going to uh, chant 16 rounds and we're going to follow uh, four webs, then we will uh, come back to Krishna. Of course, you are talking about good rounds, right? Yes. But still, even chanting good rounds, it doesn't mean that we, at the end of our lives, we will end up having a prema. Mm -hmm. And this True. is a kind of requirement to um, go back to Krishna. Yes. And so, um, yeah, what is What's the situation up? that we What's have? up with that? What's up with that, yes. So the question is, what is the situation that we have to ask for the question? Because Mahatma Prabhu powiedział, że Szlapropatem ma taki układ z, z Kreszną. Poprosił go o to, że wrócić do świata duchowego wystarczy im to nawet 16 dobrych błądów, przestrzegać się tych zasad tak urwających, ale wiemy o tym, żeby wrócić do Kreszną, musimy mieć miłość do Kreszną, czyli premę, co w momencie, kiedy my pod koniec naszego życia tej premy nie mamy. Okay. I can make the question more controversial. Uh, Prabhupada once said, if you have a pinch of desire, you cannot go back to God. Mm -hmm. 
ponieważ ta prawda powiedział o tym, że nawet jeżeli masz dosłownie szczyt pragnienia materialnego, nie jesteś w stanie wrócić do Krishna. I then he said, another time he said, even a desire to eat one sweet ball. That's pretty depressing. I'll never get out of the material world because I like sweet balls. Uh, in the latest Vyas Puja book, maybe you could look it up online. No, no, it's called, it's called Tributes, T-R-I-B-U-T-E-S. I don't think they have Polish version. <laughs> tributes, tributes. And there's an offering by a devotee named Amiyatma about his wife's passing away and how Krishna conscious she was. Jest tam ofiarowanie do Szlopropada Bhakty o imieniu Amiyatwa, która opowiada o tym, jak w jaki sposób jego żona w sposób świadomy Kryszna odeszła z tego świata. And he was saying, she was just an ordinary devotee. I on powiedział, ona była zwykłym niewicielem. But in the end of her life, she was like totally in Samadhi. Just, and he could see she was like with the gopis and she was saying Radha Radha. So he, he was describing this whole scene of how Krishna conscious his wife was and how it was it was so deep, much deeper than he could imagine that she would ever go. I ona opowiada całą tę sytuację w tym swoim ofiarowaniu, jak się tam Kryszna pod koniec życia, że to odejście była jego żona i że to było tak głębokie, że on nigdy nie spodziewał się, że jego żona może tak głęboko wejść w świadomość Kryszna. Jeżeli ktoś chciałby to na przykład znaleźć, to byłoby dobrze, czy wspaniałe to posłuchać. Look at, it's called Srila Prabhupada Tributes, and then it will give you a choice for every year. So you do 20, 22, and then you'll have to go through the table of contents. Maybe we should make a competition. Who will find it uh, uh, as first one? <laughs> and then they get a prize. What's the prize? Uh, <laughs> the prize is you get to read it. Twenty twenty two. Twenty twenty two. Twenty twenty two. Or I say download or something. Mm -hmm. And the devotee's name is spelled A M E Y A T M A Amiyatna. And once you find it, you can give it to me, but I'll just read part of it. It's amazing. And it answers this question. And before I read it, I want to mention that this story is not unique. There are many stories very similar to this story of devotees dying and exhibiting very high levels of Krishna consciousness that were unexpected. I zanim przejdziemy do przeczytania tego, to chciałbym też powiedzieć o tym, że to nie jest nic tak nadzwyczajnego, ponieważ widzimy, że wielu wielbicieli pod koniec swojego życia manifestuje właśnie takie symptomy duchowego zaawansowania. As you can see, it's not enough about the Lord. The race is on. Wyścig się rozpoczął. Someone dropped out of the race. <laughs> A-M-E-Y A -M -E -Y. 2022 A -M -E -Y. So I'll give you a, a little preview He, he described what was going on with his wife 
It's really advanced. Now I don't have to give you the preview. Now you don't have to give you the preview. Yeah. So he's married for 41 years and she just left the body this year. In the last month she knew she would be leaving soon. In her last day she hadn't slept for 36 hours. 36. And then she fell asleep. After 18 hours, I tapped her on the shoulder. And she immediately woke up saying, Radha, Radha. So apparently she wasn't sleeping. I never heard her call out to Radha like that, Radha like that before. She again said, Radha, Radha. And then she told me to start chanting. I put a recording of you, Srila Prabhupada, chanting the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. And, and I and our son uh, started chanting the Maha Mantra. She asked for her Jagannath deity and I placed him next to her. I put fresh tilak on her, placed a tosi leaf in her mouth. And she left the world very peacefully, no struggle. She, she just stopped breathing. But Krishna was there in the form of his holy name, being chanted. Not, not just by me and our son, but by you, Srila Prabhupada. What was most auspicious in my view was when I woke her up, she called out for Radha, Radha. I knew right then that she was already on her way back home and my waking her up brought her back here just long enough so that she could depart in a most auspicious way. Then, a week after she left, she appeared in my dream. Where she gave me a message and asked that I tell others. I ona przekazała mi wiadomość i poprosiła mnie, żeby przekazał ją innym. The message she wanted to tell me is this. I tak brzmi wiadomość, którą mi przekazała. Stay tuned next week for the message. <laughs> Bądźcie tu z nami, a w przyszłym tygodniu przekażę wam tę wiadomość. <laughs> Any other questions? <laughs> This was the message. She was a simple devotee. She never held any position. She was not in charge of any project. Yet she wanted not just me, but others to know that she is being taken home back to Godhead. What she wanted me to tell everyone was that the program that you taught us, Srila Prabhupada, works. All we, all we have to do 
is follow the simple program that you so kindly have given us. Just chant our 16 rounds daily, read your books and render service to Krishna in the form of his deity. Po prostu czytaj siastry, intonuj święte imię i pełni służbę dla Bóg. Render service to you, Śrīla Prabhupāda, Krishna's pure devotee. I pełni służbę dla Ciebie, Śrīla Prabhupāda, który jest jeszcze z Tobą wyciągnięty. We don't have to become a big, important devotee. Nie musimy stać się wielkim, ważnym bhaktą. We don't have to be in charge of this or that. Nie musimy być odpowiedzialni za to, czy tamto. Have followers or be famous. Have followers or be famous. We just do whatever service you and Krishna give us in a humble and devotional mood. Even if we are not able to render physical service, our mind must be always in Krishna consciousness. This was the message she asked me to tell others. That your teachings work, Srila Prabhupada. All we have to do is follow what you have taught us and regardless of who we are, że to, czego nas nauczałeś, działa i powinniśmy to wypełniać, cokolwiek by się nie wydarzyło. I kimkolwiek nie jesteśmy. We will be earning our ticket to go back home, back to Godhead, where we can serve you and Radha and Krishna directly. I wtedy zasłużymy na ten bilet powrotny do domu, do Boga, tam gdzie będziemy służyć się na Radha i Krishna. So I decided to make this message my offering to you this year. I ta wiadomość, ta wiadomość stała się moim ofiarowaniem w tym roku dla Ciebie, Szyła Prawda. To tell others what my wife told me, that your teachings work, Szyła Prawda. Przekazując im wiadomość od mojej żony, która brzmi, że w ten sposób, że Twoje nauki Szyła Prawda działają. All we have to do is follow them. I jedyne, co musimy robić, to podążać za nimi. Does that answer your question? <laughs> yes. <laughs> As I said, this is not the only story like this. It's, it's, it's actually a better story. Some, some of you may know this story. It's very interesting. So there was a devotee in France during Prophet's time, and he he became a sannyasi. At some point in his life, he gave up Krishna consciousness, and he became, I believe, he became a drug dealer. I wydaje mi się, że został dealerem narkotyków. Not for a drugstore. Nie do sklepów z narkotykami, czy nie do aptek. Illegal drug, illegal drugs. To były nielegalne narkotyki. And apparently he was also taking them. I z pewnością również zażywał je sam. And his, he was no longer practicing Krishna consciousness, but his wife knew Formerly he was a devotee, but she didn't know anything about devotional service. So he was completely out of Krishna consciousness. Not really following anything. And breaking some principles. And in the last moment of his life, he's laying on his bed. He sits up in shock. 
And he says, Prabhupada, you've come. The way we know the story is his wife went to the temple and said, who is Prabhupada? And told the story. There's another story. And this is this is a really important story. Yeah, really, really helpful. So there was one woman who probably died sometime in the 80s or 90s. She was uh, at least 10 years older than I than I am or I was when she died. She's and I think the last week of her life she sent a message to, to all her friends and devotees in the West. And she said, this is not that difficult. I mean, she knew she was leaving her body. And she said, you can do this. And then she said something really instructive. She said, if you just learn to tolerate now, when it comes to death, you'll be able to do this easily. Because you practice to tolerate. Wow. You know, it's, you sound like saying it's just another thing you have to tolerate. And that's why she said, you can do it, it's not like a major hurdle. And, uh, you know, Prabhupada said, if you, at the time of death, if you, if you forget Krishna, Krishna will remember you. So, you know, we have faith that if we do what Prabhupada wants, somehow or it, it'll all work out because Prophet promised it. You know, inconceivably, it'll work out. And more stories like this of, of like advancement going uh, like from five miles an hour during your life to like a thousand or 10,000 speed of light at the last week or so. Just like, this, like the gopis have come and you're dancing with them. Stories like that. And, you know, when a Vaishnava leaves, then we're very unhappy. But we can also think, well, they just left and right now they're with Krishna. So, we should kind of be happy. <laughs> yes. Oh, he died so young. Yeah, he didn't have to live a long life. Now he's with Krishna. What a blessing. That's another way. Another way of looking at it. But I have heard so many stories where, where Prabhupada said, if you chant 16 rounds and follow the principles, you go back to God, and then the devotees were like you. I said, how's that possible? You know, that's all we have to do. They always doubted it. It doesn't make sense. It's too easy. 
wiele takich historii i też wielbicieli, którzy mówią, ale jak to, tylko przestrzeganie czterech zasad i wynowanie 16 lat, to wszystko wystarczy, to jest zbyt łatwe. And Prabhupada never said, well, actually, I'm just saying that to make you feel good, but you know, you're probably not going to make it in this life. He never said that. Prabhupada nigdy nie powiedział tego w ten sposób, że o, powiedziałem to wszystko, żebyście po prostu dobrze się czuli. Tak naprawdę to nie jest do końca prawda. Nie jesteście, nie uda wam się to w Yes, you go back to God and if you do that, wow. Nie, on zawsze mówił, jeżeli będziecie to robić, wrócicie do Boga. So, we have all these amazing stories of devotees leaving their body and becoming going from zero to a hundred in like three seconds in the last few days of their life. We just have faith somehow or other. It's going to happen. Right? Don't, don't wonder about it. The Prabhupada said it, that's okay. Who am I to doubt what Prabhupada promised? One time there was a story. Prabhupada told Brahmananda to do something which was the opposite of what he previously told him to do. So he was confused. And then Prabhupada said, well, you believed me then when I told you, so why don't you believe me now when I'm telling you something different? And then, one devotee said, I don't have this reference myself, but he said, Prabhupada said, of all the, the verses in the scripture, faith in the words of Guru, that's the most important verse. Yasadeve Parabhakriya, Nidhavi Nidhavi You should have faith in the order of Prabhupada, like you have faith in the order of Krishna. I najważniejszą z, z tych wersetów z świat jest tak naprawdę posiadanie wiary w słowa mistrza duchowego powinno się mieć taką wiarę jak w słowa Kryszna. Did you say, well, Mahatma Prabhu, you said 16 rounds and four principles can you guarantee that? And I'll say, if I made that up, I couldn't guarantee it, but if Prabhupada said it, I can guarantee it. Check this one out. Many, many, many times. Prabhupada said, you continue this Krishna consciousness. In this life, you will see Krishna face to face. So you're all sitting there thinking, impossible. Right? And Prabhupada saying, just like you can see me. You will be able to see Krishna. You will see Krishna. Right? And then he said, and someday, at the end of this life, you will go to Krishna and you will dance with him and embrace him and kiss him. So, you know, we don't really have to figure out how that's all going to work. We just have to 
execute the order with faith that Prabhupada said it's going to happen, so it will. Nie powinniśmy starać się rozważać na ten temat i próbować dociekać, czy jest to prawdą, czy nie. Raczej powinniśmy iść za tym stwierdzeniem Prabhupada, za jego, za jego poleceniem i wtedy się o tym wszystkim przekonamy. I mean, we've made it this far, so why wouldn't we believe we'll make it further? Jeżeli doszliśmy już do tego punktu, right? dlaczego wątpimy, że możemy pójść do dalej? Doing better than you know, doing better than we were Możemy before we were devotees. So. We're doing better now than we were doing before we were devotees, or even before when we were better now than we were young devotees. So why would we doubt? It will continue. It will continue. Okay, where do I sign? Sign me up. I'm, I'm ready. Where do I buy my ticket? Over that count, over that counter of pay them 16 rounds and four principles, and they'll give you a ticket. Idziesz do, do pewnego punktu, w którym e, podpisujesz, mówi pani, że to było 16 rund, te cztery zasady i dostajesz ten bilet. That's all I have to do to go back to God. Yeah, that's it. Just do that. Everything else will come. And that's why, at initiation, Prabhupada said, 16 rounds, four principles. That's all. He didn't say anything else. I dlatego podczas inicjacji Szlaprawa powiedział 16 rund, 4 zasady, to wszystko. Because everything else will come if you do that. Ponieważ cała reszta przyjdzie, jeżeli będziesz to robić. You want to read, you want to get up early, you want to be remembered. Chcesz robić bramiliczne, chcesz wstawać wcześniej rano, chcesz czytać. Jeżeli to nie jest właściwy sposób. Prawda? Prawda? Tak. What's the other one? Czyż nie? 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 If I try to speak Polish, że ja próbuję mówić po polsku, you will laugh. Wy się śmiejecie. But the Shastra says, if you make your bodies laugh, you make spiritual advancement. Mm -hmm. So I'm definitely going to try to speak more Polish. So I can make more advancement. Because <laughs> I do a bad job with it. You know, it's so funny for us because when we come to these Eastern European countries, it's like for us, it's like you know, that's the way you know the movies we saw, like Dracula and all that. That's the way they would talk. Really? Yeah, like that Eastern European accent. <laughs> Kiedy się w domu do tej kiedyś takie filmy, filmy o Drakuli i właśnie oni tak mówili. Yeah, a little bit of else. Well, it's really going to Germany is more scary. The only, the, our only connection with Germany from most Americans is video documentaries on Hitler. And you go to a country and everybody sounds like Hitler. Yash, mush, yash, mush. They sound like Hitler. It's very interesting to be American. You don't remind me of Hitler, don't you?
Ah, Szczerze jest taka kotwica. 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 Szczerze jest taka Yeah, Hitler and Transylvania and Dracula. Hitler, Transylvania, and Dracula. It's funny. Savage. All right. Next question. Yes. I heard this opinion that the possibility of success of intelligence. I heard the statement uh, that uh, the doubts are a sign of intelligence. So I'm like wondering if we, we have a right to have doubts. Uh, uh, are we? Do, do we have a right to use our intelligence? Yeah. Or it's just a stupidity? Well, for us as practicing devotees, doubts and faith are two different things. I have faith in Prabhupada, but I can't understand something he says, so I have a, this doesn't make sense to me, so I have a doubt, how can this be true? But, it's, but I know it's true, and I'm trying to understand how it's true. I kiedy mam wiarę w Prawda, to wiem, że to, co on mówi, jest prawdą, ale niektóre jego stwierdzenia mogą być dla mnie niezrozumiałe, mogę nie rozumieć, o co tu chodzi i czy jest to, pra czy jest to prawdą, więc, ale zakładam, że, że ponieważ Prawda to mówi, to jest to prawda. One time Prawda gave class and he asked her questions and nobody had any questions. Pewnego razu Szla Propat dał wykład i jakby nikt nie miał żadnych pytań. And he was kind of surprised. I on był bardzo zaskoczony. He says, you have no questions, you, that means you know everything. Powiedział, nie macie żadnych pytań, to znaczy, że co, wiecie wszystko. So, um, Propat appreciated the doubt, if the doubt was based on a solid understanding of our philosophy and you wanted clarity, you, you know, you were not like, you totally misunderstood the philosophy, that, and then, That would upset him. Że Prabhupad doceniał wątpliwość, jeżeli ona wynikała z e, takiej znajomości, czy nawet dogłębnej znajomości filozofii, ale jeżeli e, on, ta wątpliwość była powodem całkowitego niezrozumienia świadomości Kreszny, to to złośliło Szla so, so that questioning or doubt is usually a sign that you're understanding things more deeply and it's bringing up more questions. I często ta wątpliwość jest oznaką, że rozumiesz rzeczy głębiej, ale wchodząc w głębiej zaczynasz mieć pewne wątpliwości, które chcesz rozwiać. To znaczy, że myślisz. I Prabhupada chciał, żebyśmy byli filozofami. So you're thinking within the parameters of the Shastra. Zaczynasz myśleć w tych ramach Shastry. So that's proper use of intelligence. I to jest właściwe używanie inteligencji. If you don't use your intelligence, then you become... Uh, it's not what Prabhupada wants. Jeżeli nie używasz inteligencji, to nie jest to, czego chciał Shla Prabhupada. So having doubt is not bad. Zatem posiadanie wątpliwości nie jest niczym złym. It just means you're, you need to go deeper in your understanding. To po prostu oznacza jedynie, że musisz wejść głębiej w zrozumienie pewnych spraw. And it really just means I don't understand this. To oznacza nie rozumiem mm -hmm. tego. So it's good. I to jest dobre. Yes. Filozof chyba mówi właśnie tam, który było tam się też tam też tam za wątpliwość się stosą inteligencji. It seems that Kapila there said that doubts are a sign of a sign of intelligence. Wątpliwość, pamięć, ten właśnie do zrozumienia, właśnie do zrozumienia. Doubts, jeszcze co tam? Pamięć, ten. Memories, memory. Dreams. 
Sleeping. 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 Sle
But they didn't live happily ever after. Neither, neither did the devotees live happily ever after. So, so basically, she kind of became the queen of the temple. And she made them call her Maharani. And whatever she wanted, they had to do. So, at some point, she was, it was found she was eating chicken and fish like that. In the temple, I mean, not on the altar, but of course. And her husband was just like, well, that's what she wants. Anyway, I don't know the details, but so now what do you do? Just stay there and do whatever the temple president president says, even though Zostajesz, this is going on. You speak out. Prabhupada chastised the leaders. Why you didn't speak out and stop this? Why didn't you allow this to go on? So, Prabhupada was, some devotees left, so he was happy that the devotees didn't leave, the ones that stayed, but he wasn't happy that the senior devotees didn't speak out. So if something is wrong, we, and we see it's wrong, and we analyze it's wrong, we have to Jeżeli widzimy, że coś jest, jest złe, że coś dzieje się źle, jeżeli analizujemy, to widzimy, że jest źle, to powinniśmy coś z tym zrobić, powinniśmy zareagować, coś powiedzieć. So Prabhupada was not training up a bunch of zombies. Ponieważ Prabhupada nie trenował nas na grupę zombies. He was training Brahmins who were thoughtful. On trenował nas na Brahminów, którzy myślą. Does that answer your question? Is that okay? Yeah. But it was not that that finally uh, they found out that she is not a daughter. Oh, yeah. yeah, that was. Oh the yeah, yeah. Now I forgot that part. <laughs> yeah. The, I, the icing on the cake. She was not the daughter of Toyota. I to można powiedzieć, wisienką na torcie było to, że okazało się, że ona wcale nie jest spadkobierczynią Toyoty, że to było kłamstwo. Kind of like they have these cartoons called Looney Tunes. Looney means crazy. That was like a Looney Tune cartoon. I są takie, takie obrazkowe historie, które są szalone, bo to właśnie była taka jedna z takich szalonych. You have that here? Looney Tune? No. Well, of course you have the internet, so you can have anything. <laughs> There's another funny story. One devotee wrote a letter to Prabhupada and a list of questions about Tulsi. What about this? What about this? What about this? What about that? How about this? How do you do this? How do you do that? What day do you do that? And Prabhupada saw this list after he answered like three or four questions and asked his secretary, like, how many more questions are there? Oh, 480, Prabhupada. How many? 
No, ale prawie jak 25. Pan zaczął odpowiadać na pytanie, mówił do swojego sekretarza, no to ile tam jest? I kiedy zaczął odpowiadać na te pytania, to w pewnym momencie zrozumiał, że tak naprawdę ten wielbiciel chyba wyłączył swój mózg. You know, you know that kind of person who can't make any decisions. They have to ask other people. To say, what do you think I should eat for breakfast? Well, what do you like? I'm not sure what I like. <laughs> Tell me what I like. You know, like, like that. Czy znacie taki na przykład wielbicieli, którzy mają problem z podejmowaniem decyzji, o wszystko pytają? Co ja powinienem zjeść na śniadanie? Ale co lubisz? No nie jestem pewien, co lubię. No ale może ty mi powiedz, co ja lubię. It's just the kind of disciples I want. They'll do anything I say because they won't think. But those disciples will conquer the world. Yeah. So, so that's how that's how some gurus used to think. Mm -hmm. Maybe a few that still think that way. I don't know. But, but, Anyway, so Prabhupada saw all these, like she has unlimited questions that anybody could answer. No. Unlimited questions she shouldn't have asked. She should have just answered herself. So, so after like four or five questions, Prabhupada said, regarding the rest of the questions, just use your common sense. <laughs> I po odpowiedzeniu na kilka pierwszych pytań, na resztę prawo odpowiedział, jeżeli chodzi o dalsze pytania, po prostu użyj zdrowego rozsądku. Then he said something kind of funny. I wtedy powiedział coś zabawnego. And if you don't have any common sense, jeżeli nie masz żadnego zdrowego rozsądku, find someone who does and ask them to answer these questions. Znajdź <laughs> kogoś, kto ma ten zdrowy rozsądek i zadaj mu te pytania. Prabhupada's way of saying, yeah, you turned your brain off, you can turn it back on. But if you can't find that switch, find somebody else who's got the switch on that screen. And there was a word that So, the position of the guru is to help the disciple think. Not to turn their intelligence off. Don't think, Prabhu, you, you don't know anything. Don't think, you don't know anything. I know everything, just listen to me, don't think. Occasionally that may be true. You just can't understand something. But, but in general, the spiritual master is trying to help you to better use your intelligence. Or at least should be. They should be. So we have to follow all the instructions that Guru is giving us, but we should, we, we have a right to say sometimes no, if we well, disagree or if we, you know, because we may use our intelligence. Respectfully. Question. Say, I don't understand. This. According to me, it seems like this would be true. And so you respectfully question. You know, if I say tomorrow morning, I think the world's going to end and we should all die, so we put cyanide in the Charnamrita. So make sure you take China right to tomorrow morning, and then, you know, we'll take care of the burial, don't worry. Uh, are you going to follow that? I powiedzmy, że jutro rano mówię, słuchajcie, następnego dnia kończy się świat, 
i my musimy już wszyscy umrzeć, więc trzeba wlać jakiś cjanek, czy co? Tak, do, do czaja na i wszyscy wypijmy, to umrzemy i tam działamy się, ktoś zajmie, to przyjemnie. No. Czy ona ma, czy możemy to jeszcze przedyskutować? Nie. Róbcie, co mówię. That's not exactly the guru-disciple relationship. To nie jest do końca związek. Especially if they're asking you to do something, which is against the principles of Krishna consciousness, or are against your own um, sense of what is going to be best for you. Szczególnie, jeżeli nie jest to zgodne z zasadami świadomości Krishna, lub nie jest to zgodne z twoim własnym interesem. Yeah, you respectfully inquire. I mean, Możesz zrobić to w sposób taki, I can't speak for other groups. In, in my perfect world, that's how it would be. <laughs> no, Arjuna had all kinds of doubts. So that's the idea, you present your doubts to your spiritual master. Especially in dealing with practical things. I come to your country, what do I know about Poland? We should do this. That's the stupidest idea I ever heard. If we do that, we'll all get shot. <laughs> and you'll explain it to me. There's a whole history like this and that. <coughs> so you, you, that's your duty to say that. If, if we all go out and get arrested, and and I say, didn't you know we were going to get arrested? And you say, yeah, but we're just following your orders. <laughs> <laughs> there's a, when I was a kid, there was a show, a television show called The Three Stooges. Three Stooges. Yes. Stooges is like idiot. <laughs> and they had an IQ of like 10. I mean, they played like that. And I always wanted to do a video. The three stooges become devotees. <laughs> All the things they do. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, so they would do things like that. Yeah. Yeah. They wouldn't use their intelligence because they didn't have any. No. Let her go, Anya. Yes. <laughs> so what about Siddhanta? If, uh, if the student can have different points of view as uh, his guru, mm -hmm. like we have this different Siddhanta view, mm -hmm. like yeah. inherent or inherent, yeah, or right, she right. likes falling or not falling. Mm -hmm. Well, that will depend on the guru. So, w kwestii tego, że na przykład uczeń może mieć jakby różne punkty widzenia, czy może widzieć pewne takie rzeczy nawet z identycznym w sensie. Padliśmy ze świata duchowego, nie upadliśmy, czy prema, czy tam, czy ta prema jest dziedziczona, czy ona jest już w sercu, czy jak to wygląda. It's going to depend on the disciple. To wszystko zależy od ucznia. Because the guru is going to explain his understanding. Ponieważ Guru wyjaśni swoje zrozumienia, a uczeń przyjmie je lub nie. And that's obviously going to affect the relationship to some degree. But it depends on the Guru. Ale to też zależy od Guru. Because some Gurus might just say, well, that's his understanding, and you know, there's some evidence in Shastra for that, and he might just say, okay. That's also possible. Right. Right. This young lady over here, she thinks we didn't fall from the spiritual world. Okay. Yeah. Maybe some gurus would get out a whip and beat her for saying that. 
Maybe some brewers would praise her for saying that. So, you know, so, I think many gurus are open enough you know, to respect the intelligence of disciples and you know, say, okay, that's, you know, I had a long Siddhantic discussion with one of my disciples. It was really interesting. We kind of started with different ideas, but we ended up coming to the same conclusion. I would say things and he would say, but, and I would say, but, and he would say, but, and I would say, but, but the buts came together. So, 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 I know, I have many godbrothers and gurus, and they, they highly respect the intelligence of their disciples. Usually, usually what I've seen, if the disciple goes way off sedantically, he usually just distances himself from the guru, because the guru is telling him you're wrong. You, you know, sometimes if, if, if it's not like controversial, it's just the disciple's wrong. There's no question. This is not what we teach in our mind. And he's heard it from some other mind. The guru has to say, this is wrong. And he has to put his foot down and say, you know, this is our siddhanta. And there were devotees like that during Prabhupada's time. There were devotees like that during Bhakti Siddhanta's time. That usually breaks the relationship. If it's you know, something that's just, it's not within our line, it's not a question of this kind of road or not, it's just not in our line. But again, every guru is different. There's a nice story. Not exactly about this, but it's a beautiful story. I really like it. It's about a devotee who, I think he just lost faith in Krishna consciousness and he told Prabhupada he was leaving him. So they had some discussion about the, the doubts, the differences. And so the devotee said, you know, I'm giving up Krishna consciousness or I'm going to some other guru, I can't remember. And then he left. Very friendly. And the Prabhupada was like, okay, this is what you need to do. It, it's voluntary. And so Prabhupada didn't chastise him. And then later on Prabhupada said, um, it's better we part as friends than part as enemies. So maybe you have a disagreement with your guru and it's incompatible. Better part as friends. So the guru, the guru, if he follows what Prabhupada did, would just say, okay, I understand. Mm -hmm. 
to lepiej, żeby, jeżeli góry podąży za tym opadem, to lepiej, żeby on stanie się przyjazny, jak on stoi. Yeah, it happens. Takie rzeczy się dzieją. Shit happens and sometimes other stuff happens. <laughs> Shit. Shit. So, shit, shit happens and sometimes the other stuff happens. You understand. That's life. And it happened with Srila Bhakti Siddhanta. Such an exalted Vaishnava that people doubted him. Disciples doubted him. Nawet w tak egzaltowaną osobę jak Baptista Danta Sarasvati byli uczniowie, którzy mieli w stosunku do niego wątpliwości. It's happening today. People who are disciples of Prabhupada go and hear from people who who didn't accept Baptista Danta or Baptista Danta. Nawet teraz ludzie, którzy są uczniami Prabhupada, czasami słuchają. You know what I say? I say, you know, I'm not smart enough to doubt Prabhupada. It's only the smart ones that doubt. I just, I just don't know the philosophy well enough to doubt Prabhupada. So I just have faith in what he says. I'm just, I'm just stupid, I guess. You, you know, you know, during Prabhupada's time, you know the devotees who had the biggest problems. Wiecie, że podczas Very interesting. Generally, it was the devotees who knew Sanskrit in Bengali, because they could read all these other books and they started seeing things which looked like contradicting what Prophet would say, and they developed doubts and they lost faith. To były osoby, które znały Sanskrit, czy znały Bengali, i one były w stanie czytać różne inne pisma. I czasami dostrzegały pewne sprzeczności w stwierdzeniach Szlopropada, traciły wiarę i odchodziły. So fortunately, I didn't learn Sanskrit. Na moje szczęście nigdy nie nauczyłam się Sanskrit. And I wanted to, actually. Chciałam tak naprawdę. And I asked Prabhupada. I pytałam Prabhupada. He said, if you have time, but it's not that important. Stwierdziłem, że nie masz czas, ale nie jest to to, że... Maybe that was good. Może to było dobre. Let her go first. Um, so since spiritual teachers are probably the most close disciples uh, and spiritual students, we see through the guru as we saw the holy mother, distributions in Islamic. They have very close disciples, close relationship. Yes. Yeah. Um, so what happens when the guru dies? Um, the relations to the life, to the mountain side about that. Yes. Um, 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 so, one time Srila Prabhupada was asked, what's going to happen to your movement after you die? Who asked? The reporter, I believe. Prabhupada was like, I will never die, I will live forever in my books. So when the guru gives an instruction, or when you read the instruction, when you hear the recording of the instruction, it's just as powerful as sitting in his presence. Now, it's easy to say that. Yeah, I experienced the loss of my guru when I was 
27. Uh, ja, uh, what? I experienced the loss of my girl at the age of 27. Yeah, so it took me about eight years to finally kind of not feel that separation. Also, um, in following the instructions of the Guru, you associate. Through service, you associate. I have a story for you. Can't imitate the story, but it's amazing. So, Prabhupada, when he came to America, he said, I was never separated from my guru. For a moment. He was always with me. I always felt him with me. So once, 1970, August, San Francisco. Maybe some of you were there in your past life. Prabhupada, this was a Rathyatra festival, and Prabhupada came. I think maybe half the Hare Krishna movement was there. That was about 150 of us. That was half of the whole movement. And the temple, it was smaller than this room, two-thirds the width and about the same length. And as they say in Australia, the temple was chock-a-block. You know what chock-a-block means? Chakablak. Do you know that word? Chakablak? The temple was chakablak with shaven headed brahmacharis and saffron. They all look like little light bulbs. Like little light bulbs. They're all shiny, heads are shiny, saffron is shiny. Yeah. 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 Because there were so many of them, this was the biggest assembly of brahmacharis ever in the history of this in one place. So the old Prabhupada was about to walk in the temple. There's a, there's a storefront, so he's coming off the street. He opens the door. And he sees the temple, wall to wall, shaven headed brahmacharis in this polyester peach kind of color that doesn't fade. So the polyester was like really, really effulgent. And everybody was shaved up, tila, you know, like 20 years old, big shiny faces, and the Prabhupada just stopped. I was there. I was there. I'm telling the story as I saw it. I was like, why is Prabhupada not coming in? He's just stopping, he's looking around. We didn't know why. Then he came in, and then he started singing to his spiritual master. Like, what's going on? It's just like, you know, sometimes you just wonder something. You don't know if you ever get an answer, you just wonder why did it happen. So, later in the day, 
Prabhupada told some of the devotees. When I came in and saw all these brahmacharis, these little light bulbs, peach, these peach light bulbs, you know, when you're 22, your cheeks are all rosy. You know? He said, I called my spiritual master to come and see. So that way he always felt. But there's something else. Allah. 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 I just want to say Allah. 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 Sounds like a mantra. Anyway. But. Allah. Allah. Prabhupada said, the Guru is one. So what did he mean? You're, you can see your Guru in another Guru. Because the guru, it's one, every guru represents Krishna. So it's like, you get your baby, you get breast milk from your mother, sometimes you get it from the nurse. Same milk. So, so guru is wherever you see that same milk, that's guru. So you can have more than one. So if your guru leaves, you can also take shelter of what's called a siksha guru. Siksha means instruction. So the guru is it's a, a principle embodied in a person. So we say, we say the Guru is Krishna. Yeah. Anyone who represents Krishna is Guru. So you can have more than one Guru. One, one initiating Guru, but many instructing Guru. So that's also, if you want, that's also possible. And sometimes the devotee will have a closer relationship with the Siksha Guru than the Diksha Guru. You know, like there are some devotees that met Prabhupada and got initiated like a few months before Prabhupada left and they, they you know, only with him a short time. And now they have Siksha Guru for the last 40 years. So naturally they'll be closer to the Siksha Guru. It doesn't, doesn't, mean, doesn't mean you minimize your guru. But you, know, you may have a closer relationship with your uncle or your aunt, or your grandmother, your grandfather. And maybe your father wasn't around. Or he died or he was overseas or something. But the guru is not material. His presence isn't three dimensional. His presence is experienced in service. For, for all of us here who never met Prabhupada, we can feel his presence by serving him. I have another story. I, I don't know if I can communicate well. I'll try my best. So, I think this was 1971. We went traveling to a place called Edmonton. It's in Canada. We were the first devotees ever to go to that city. Edmonton. 
People had no idea who we were, what planet we came from. But we met some Indians. And I never had any engagement with Indians. In the temples I was in, there were no Indians. One or two, very few. So we met some Indians. And they organized a program. Like a hundred, hundred Indians, they rented a hall and came. This was like for us in those days, this was like big. I was 20 years old or 21. It was like. We, so we, we, we spent the whole day getting ready. We shaved our heads. <laughs> and we shaved them again. And we ironed our bellies. And they were polyester, they didn't even need to be ironed. <laughs> we ironed them again, and we polished our toenails. We were like so into it. And, and they told me how to make halibut. And they told me how to make halibut. Almond, raisin, 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 I make some bad halva. <laughs> that means it's good. Yeah, if, if someone says, that's bad, that means it's good. <laughs> you are weird people. You are very concerned with Prabhu, that was some bad halva. That means it was good. <laughs> uh, if you come to America, I will have to speak, teach you how to speak American English. So that we have this hall, we put up an altar, we're all shaved up, shiny, frescoed, <laughs> burning incense, and have a hall of a... I was like a hundred Indians. I never saw a hundred Indians in my life. <laughs> I have like a, you know, I, I imagine that. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm sitting there giving a lecture, you know. Yeah, you know, I was, I was, um, I was feeling Prabhupada's presence so strongly, like he was sitting next to me going, Good job. I like this. Like I felt it so strong. But it's not any different today. You know, like like I have a disciple and I said, Can you get a thousand people? I want to teach a thousand people to chant chapter. Yeah, I'm going to try to get 1000 people. I want to get 1000. I only got 500. I got 500 people out of change up, but I want 1000. Now I'm getting greedy. I actually want 10,000. And because because I want to sit on the stage and say, "Prabhu, see, there's 1000 people." Yeah. Ponieważ chcę usiąść na tej scenie, spojrzeć na te 10 tysięcy ludzi, bo widzi. Any of you, any of you Organize a thousand people. And you'll also, you can also tell Prabhupada I got a thousand people. Here. And you will feel Prabhupada going, yes, I'm very happy. You, all of you, you don't have to be disciples directly. So. I I feel a strong um, presence of Prabhupada uh, when we are at the Polish tour, yeah. and it's the end of the festival, and people are chanting and dancing, and I feel Prabhupada yeah. back. It's like you want to call and say, "Look, yes. look what we did." Yeah.
Yeah. Because oh. something impossible is happening. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So basically, there are three answers for that. And, and ultimately, there's no separation. Just appears, to, appears to be. There is, but there isn't. And the Guru is one. So there are many Gurus. With the same milk. But the question is coming uh, because it, it said that um, the Guru, uh, as we were talking about it in the morning, and you said that you had a debate about it with someone, right? That um, this doubt that uh, um, if the same guru, meaning the same person, is gonna, uh, yeah, yeah, gonna, uh, gonna, yeah, um, yeah really gonna guide that. us in yeah. life after life, or guru is like a, yeah, like a, sorry to use this word, but in a kind of idea, right? Because it's a knowledge. So, um, like life after life, that the a person who's gonna guide us will appear, but not necessarily uh, this person, because it seems to be a bit uh, cruel that, yeah. like person like in the Jonas time is gonna <laughs> take oh birth to the end yeah. of the universe. Yeah. Find all the disciples. Yes, to find all. Well, there's the a disciples. way around that. There's just all the people who are fallen just. Um, czy taka jest wątpliwość, ponieważ um, guru to wydaje się właśnie, że to jest wiedza, że to jest pewna jakby idea, tak? I um, yes. to stwierdzenie, że guru um, się pojawia, um, będzie się pojawiał tak długo, aż nas wyzwoli, czy to konkretnie ta osoba będzie się pojawiała, czy po prostu będziemy um, na przykład życie po życiu, jeżeli nie wrócimy do Boga, oczywiście spotykać, mm. mieć szansę spotkać się z Szedłuchowa, bo wydaje się być to troszeczkę takie okrutne, że dajmy na to nam jakaś taka osoba jak Indra Jona Sami, która ma tam yeah. milion uczniów, będzie do końca wszechświata tutaj no. się kręci, żeby wszystkich znaleźć. Nie mogę powiedzieć za to, ale Prabhupada powiedział się za siebie, że ty żałuj wróci. Nikt nie wie więcej niż to. Nikt nie wie więcej niż to. Nikt nie może wyzgadywać. You know, um, the logical answer is, you will meet another guru that represents Prabhupada. The Prophet said the relationship with disciple and guru is eternal. So the guru wants to get the disciple back to God there before he wants to go. Yeah, but it's internal that uh, sometimes we are starting Krishna consciousness with one guru uh, with whom we are inspired. But after some time, some other person is inspiring us. So how it's relating Changed, we changed, and uh, still, yeah. Guru is one. Guru <laughs> is one. Only. <laughs> so many questions you are having. <laughs> yes. Przenosi Krishna, to krąży wiele takich teorii, czy wypowiedzi, że nie można osiągnąć in Krishna consciousness, uh, it's said that uh, we cannot achieve these higher levels of um, of advancement without the guru. Why is that? Because it seems that maybe it's possible without guru. You can get to a certain level. Można dojść do pewnego poziomu. But if it were possible, we, we would have already done it. We wouldn't be here now. 
We wouldn't have this body. We would have done it. We've had plenty of time to figure it out. It's because of our limitation. And it's also Krishna wants to train us how to serve him by serving his representative. You know, and also the system of learning from a guru is to serve that person. You won't be able to imbibe the knowledge if you don't have that humble service attitude. So it's part of the package of, of learning. I think the strongest argument that Prabhupada would often make Lord Chaitanya is God and we had a guru. And he was trying to show. And, then, and this is so funny. Lord, Lord Chaitanya, as Nimai Pandit, was undefeated, an undefeated Pandit, even as a teenager. And when he was initiated, his spiritual master said, don't study the Vedas, you can't understand them. Just chant. So he's making the point, don't think you're that smart. Do what your guru says, not that smart. You know, you know there's this, this idea that I can find the truth on my own. And it's true, you can find a lot of truth, but not all the truth. Here, I give you a guitar, you're a good musician, you learn on your own. But if you want to play it really well, you know, why don't you take lessons from Santana or somebody? Then you're really You'll have a limit on your own. So you will find lots of truth on your own, but you'll hit a wall. So I tell people to say that, I just look at, you're still looking, you've had lifetimes. If, if that's the process, you would have already figured it out. Right? I mean, you've had a billion, zillion lifetimes. You know, it should be enough time. Yeah. What's Arjuna's position? Arjuna's blah, 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 blah. He's blabbing to Krishna and Krishna, and then Krishna's saying, like, you don't know anything. He's much smarter than we are. And, and ultimately, after all his talking, Krishna, I think it's like this, it's not like that, we should do this, we shouldn't do that. What's his final statement? Actually, I don't know what to do. I'll just surrender to you, you tell me. Arjuna is exemplifying that. You run into a wall. Try, try to figure it out yourself, you run into a wall. You just become depressed. The more I learned, the more depressed I became. Uh, yes, uh, I was at my friend's house, just before I was a devotee. 
To powiedział mi jeden z moich przyjaciół. Ja, przed tym, jak zostałem. Ja jestem Bogan Vedanta. On miał jakąś książkę na temat Vedanta. No, I just started reading Bhagavad Gita. Actually. Ja wtedy zacząłem uh, czytać już Bhagavad Gita. I couldn't understand a word of this book. Nie byłem z, w stanie zrozumieć słowa z tej książki. And I was thinking. All the people who read the book, they think, they think this is really esoteric philosophy because they can't understand it. Because you need a guru to explain it. You know, the Shastras were never meant to be understood without a guru. It's not the way they were written. Czy wiecie, że siastry zostały spisane w taki sposób, by nie być rozumiane bez pomocy guru? Yeah. You want to be a surgeon? Okay. Here's a book. Read the books. I need heart surgery. Let's you know, meet up in six months. Powiedzmy sobie, że chcesz zostać chirurgiem. Ja potrzebuję operacji serca. Tutaj jest książka. Daję ci sześć miesięcy, żebyś się wszystkiego nauczył. Spotykamy się po tym czasie. It doesn't work that way. To nie działa w ten sposób. So Prabhupada used to say, even to become a doctor, you have to follow and a teacher and get trained by an apprentice, and then you can do it. So why should it be different for spiritual life? Because we don't want to give up independence. Ponieważ nie chcemy porzucić niezależności. If you don't have a girl, you can think the way you want, do what you want. Jeżeli nie masz wyboru, to możesz działać jak chcesz, możesz myśleć w taki sposób jak chcesz, ponieważ jesteś pozornie wolny. It's so funny. The prophet is preaching to hippies who who didn't want to be controlled by anyone. They were completely revolting against everything the prophet came and they just Surrendered because they saw he is so elevated. We cannot get there unless we follow him. I to jest bardzo zabawne, że hipisi w tamtych czasach byli osobami, które całkowicie sprzeciwiły się systemowi, były kompletnie niezależne, a kiedy pojawił się Szlapropad, to nagle oni mu się podporządkowali, bo oni zrozumieli, że on jest tak wysoko i że jeżeli chcą dojść do tego samego poziomu, na którym on jest, muszą po musie podporządkować. Okej. Okay. Yes. Is that alright? Is that okay? Porządku. Yes. Teraz to mi się nam kilka pytań. Now I have a few questions. Ale nie mamy czasu. Okay. But uh, we don't have uh, that much time. Choose your favorite question first. Wybierz swoje ulubione pytanie. Choose a question that's going to wake everybody up. Wybierz taki fragment, żeby obudził wszystkich. Like, did we go to the moon or something? Czy byliśmy na Księżycu, czy nie? Czy ziemia jest płaska, czy nie? Czy kobiety są naprawdę mniej interpretne? Bardziej interpretne. Are you said more intelligent or less? Either way. <laughs> no, you ask the women, you'll get one answer. You ask the men, you get another answer. <laughs> Before I will ask the questions, um, um, I think came to my mind regarding uh, accepting the instructions. Once Prophet said very nicely, Probably it was a ten, uh, ten chapter, uh, ten verse of Gita. The, be the best way, uh, the way, the best way to accept uh, instructions by disciple. Is, uh, is considering um, uh, these instructions uh, as much as possible his intelligence is letting him mm -hmm. or her. Mm -hmm. And my question is, uh, regarding Kaitanya and uh, his period of life when he was a scholar, <coughs> and he was a 
Nie Tak, właśnie też znowu powiem, że guru tam powiedział może okej, okay, teraz masz nie studiować, tylko And the guru told him you should stop studying. Czasami Maktowie też mówią, używając tego podobnych ich przykładów, że wiedza jest niepotrzebna, że tak za dużo spekulacji po tym rodzaju. And sometimes uh, devotees using uh, those kinds of arguments saying that the dieta? Dieta. 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 That the knowledge is uh, not necessary and you should not speculate. Sometimes devotees are saying. Mi się na to napłynęło nasze stwierdzenie, już nie raz myślałem. And a, a kind of statement, uh, a thought came to my mind. Knowledge is not necessary. Because sometimes the devotee using the arguments. Uh, just chant. Yeah, almost like all. Just chant. Don't think too much. Don't study too much. Yeah, don't think too much. Don't think too much. Sometimes that's useful if you have bad thoughts. Ja już sam jestem że myśli nie są właściwe, a jak ktoś zapytanie. Ale ja rozumiem, o czym mówię. Pytanie się pytanie, czy samo życie pana jest wielkim przykładem? Czy ten okres życia, kiedy był pan Wito, to nie jest przykład, że zanim podejmiemy bhakti, poważnie bhakti, musimy być modernymi osobami? Uh, is it not uh, uh, a life of uh, uh, Lord Chaitanya exemplary uh, in a sense that uh, before um, everything started, he was a scholar, he was studying. So is it not that uh, example for us that before we will become serious devotees, we should really um, study, we should really... Um, Yeah, we should really study, we should uh, find knowledge, we should, we should establish ourselves. Shastric knowledge, not Sh speculative yeah, Shastric logic knowledge. and speculative philosophy. Yeah. That's the lesson. But on a, on a Vidya Vidya Jivana, in a sense, it's true. Everything will be revealed when you're pure. Wszystko zostanie nam też objawione, jeżeli będziemy na to gotowi. But Prabhupada was upset if we weren't reading his books. I Prabhupada złościł się, kiedy my nie czytaliśmy jego książek. And he said, if you don't read my books, you're putting yourself in a very dangerous situation. Często mawiał, że jeżeli nie czytasz moich książek, to mieszczasz się tej samego w bardzo niebezpiecznej sytuacji. So that's different than what Lord Chaitanya was before he was a devotee. Lord Chaitanya was a great philosopher. He was such a great philosopher, he could make an argument and defeat his own argument. And then he could defeat the argument he made to defeat the other argument. <laughs> A później ostatecznie mógł obalić argument, so, którym to obalił swój pierwotny argument. I też uczył nas tego, że jeżeli jesteś dobry w sztuce argumentacji, to możesz tak naprawdę poprzez tą sztukę but, obalić wszelkie argumenty but, i ustanowić cokolwiek sobie życzysz. It's worse today. I to jest gorsze jeszcze dziś. In academia, a lot of people just want to Never come to some siddhanta, they just want to keep researching, studying, debating, you know, that's the, you know, just keep expanding it unlimitedly. I to też jest niebezpieczna rzecz, bo to często widzimy na uniwersytetach, że ludzie nie chcą dojść do konkluzji, do siddhanty, raczej wolą cały czas debatować, dyskutować, omawiać i poszerzać to cały czas. Czy nie jest to w pewnym sensie nieuniknione w procesie takim stopniowym? Unavoidable. Um, is it not unavoidable uh, in, a process, in this uh, gradual process that we are in? What's unavoidable? Um, what you are saying? Uh, the thing that people, there going to be a group of people who are going to debate, who are going to discuss. Yeah, 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 that's true. You want to hear something? Maybe they are looking for Krishna, but they just don't feel it. That's, well, 
Even amongst devotees, there are some devotees that just, that's their nature, just to study and uh, stimulate the brain. So there's a place for that. And then they are uh, they can just engage themselves in a debate if we fell uh, from the spiritual world yeah. or not. Yeah. They need to do that. Because their mind is that's the way it works. And they you know, they study hours and hours a day. There was one devotee who was giving I don't know four hours of classes every day or six hours. Six days, six days a week. In Mayapur. Mayapur. Yeah, going deep into the Shastra. And one day he said, the only reason we're doing this is because you have that kind of mind and you've got to engage the mind, otherwise you go crazy, so we just keep studying. You know the people got two master's degrees, two PhDs. And they're probably thinking about doing a third PhD. That's the nature. But it can all be used for Krishna. But speculating within the parameters of Shastra is different. You don't go outside what Shastra says. You're trying to understand what it means based on spiritual side of Shastra. Jagannath Charan Das has a question. What a nice name you have. The best. From the other side. Sometimes we meet a person. Rozmawiamy jeden wieczór. We, we, we speak only one like evening. I zakochujemy się w niej na całe życie. <laughs> and we and we fall in love with this person for the rest of our life. Mm -hmm. Why? Co można wiedzieć? Czemu? Co Czemu można... się zakochujemy? You're asking why that happens or just stay in Are you asking why it's happening? Or why do you Uh, czy pytasz, czy pytasz, dlaczego się zakochujemy? Nie, nie. Chodzi mi o to, że e, czasami żadna, żadna wiedza nie jest potrzebna do tego, żeby... Co, co można wiedzieć o człowieku spędzając z nim parę godzin? Nic tak. Ale jednak takie rzeczy się dzieją, ale nie jest... Ale czy to porównujesz do Kryszna, że można się zakochać w Kryszna, nie ma wiedzy? Chodzi o górę. Aha, it's... Uh, It's in, it's a general question regarding knowledge uh, that we are meeting a person, we are speaking with this person for a while, and uh, even not knowing uh, this person well, we are falling in love with him or uh, her. And uh, so sometimes it seems that knowledge is not uh, necessary. Or it doesn't do anything. Okay. The knowledge didn't help. No, 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 no. <laughs> It's not that he's having something against the situation that he fell in love. It's just that the knowledge is not necessary to fall in love. Fall in love. No. no, but Dharmasetu okay. twierdzi, że jest potrzebna jakaś wiedza, żeby podjąć bhakti. Dharmasetu is saying that to start bhakti, we need we need knowledge, even deep knowledge. To bhakti. To start from bhakti, yes. Uh, but he saying that uh, uh, that he means uh, to start bhakti uh, seriously, to take up bhakti seriously. Yes. You have to know something. 
And, and a lot of what we call knowledge is not, it's not knowledge in a general sense, it's bhakti, it's knowledge of bhakti, which is different. To, co mówimy, to, to nie często to pedagogi wiedzy, to nie jest wiedza, wiedza, to jest okay. bardziej wiedza powiązana z okay. bhakti. Now that you fell in love with this person, you need to know how to make him happy. I kiedy zakochujesz się w tej osobie, to wtedy ta wiedza zaczyna być potrzebna, ponieważ musisz need, się dowiedzieć, jak uczynić tę osobę szczęśliwą. You need to find out what pleases them. To, musisz się dowiedzieć, co tę osobę zadowoli. What disturbs them. Co tę osobę denerwuje. What they expect from you. Czego ta osoba od ciebie oczekuje. So that's the knowledge. That's what the knowledge does. I to właśnie what the relationship is, how to improve the relationship, what you can do to harm the relationship, how you can harm the relationship, how to interact with all the people who love the same person you love, the same family. Na przykład członkami rodziny, które też kochają tą samą osobę, którą kochasz. How does that person want you to think? How does he want you to see? How does he want you to deal with the outside world? All these things. E, wszystkie te rzeczy, right? jak ta osoba chce, żebyś yeah. myślał, jak chce, żebyś, jakbyś, jakie miał interakcje ze światem zewnętrznym. It's all necessary. I to wszystko jest konieczne. Prawda? Prawda? Yeah. Otherwise, Papa wouldn't write all the books. Neither would the Goswamis write so many books or Bhakti Vinod Thakur or Bhakti Siddhanta. So many books. You've got to keep your mind engaged. But yet, I think that you made a point, Guru Maharaj, because if you fall in love with a person and then you <clears throat> have to say you don't deep, uh, you don't go deeper, you don't find out those things uh, right. that you just mentioned. Actually, um, in most cases, the relationship is ruined mm -hmm. because right. you don't know anything and just if it's only based on sentiment, then and the sentiment, uh, sentiment lasts for only for a while, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, and it's over. Uh, I właśnie tak powinienem być wydaje mi się, że Mahomet Maha, powiedział taką ważną rzecz, że rzeczywiście, jeżeli się zakopiłem, to jest oparte na jakimś uczuciu, ale żeby to uczucie przetrwało i żeby związek przetrwał, to potrzebna jest wiedza, jak to utrzymać, uh, bo w innym wypadku to po prostu, że wszystko zostanie stracone, jeżeli jest oparte tylko na sentymencie. Does that make sense? Czy to ma sens dla Ciebie, Joga nad Czerem? I mean, the simplest answer is, why did Prabhupada write all these books? And who, and who did he write them for? Not just the scholars. And Prabhupada felt, in some sense, he felt I don't know if you could say offended, but let down when he found out that his disciples were not reading his books, because this was the present that he gave us. The biggest present he gave us was his books. I Prabhupada czuł się, można powiedzieć, taki bardzo zawiedziony faktem, że jego wielbiciele nie czytają jego książek, ponieważ to był największy z darów, które mógł im dać. Why am I staying up at night, giving up sleep to write these books? It's for you. That's the best answer. The other answer is just to logically substantiate this answer. Prawda? Prawda? Nie. Yeah. Nie. Yeah. Ja też chciałem zapytać o taką kwestię. Prawopad mówił o tym, że powinniśmy robić wszystko, żeby być jak najbardziej niezależnymi od zewnętrznych warunków. Uh, <coughs> Prawopad said that we should try to do whatever is possible to become uh, independent <coughs> from external things. 
and external conditions. I takim pomysłem na to jest jest właśnie uprawianie własnej ziemi. And uh, the idea for that is just uh, like planting your own vegetables is uprawianie ziemi. Agriculture, like your own agriculture. Grow your own cotton, get your own cotton mill, generate electricity, get cows, create produce, chop down the trees, build your own home. If you like to do that, the line starts here, we'll sign you up. Alright, at least grow your vegetables. That's good. Everybody should grow vegetables. What was your question? <laughs> From the other uh, side, uh, land itself is very expensive right now. And uh, Prabhupada also said that we should not work more than eight hours a day. So how to uh, blend blend those things? Yeah. Combine. 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 Yeah, um, move out of Poland to some subtropical climate and it'll be real easy to do. <laughs> you know, a lot of times when I think about self-sufficiency, I think it's not meant for Europe. Because the growing season is too short. Myślę, że to chyba nie jest <coughs> możliwe dla Europy, ponieważ ten sezon wegetacyjny jest bardzo krótki. Nobody should have moved to Europe. I should have just gone south. Nie każdy powinien iść na północ. Nie powinien wyprowadzić się z Europy. But there's a no, but you know there's a, there's, a, there's a principle behind it also. I za tym wszystkim jest też pewna zasada. Simplifying is one principle. And being self-sufficient as far as possible. At least you all could have seeds for sprouting in case you know there's no food, you have sprouts. Sprouts? Solar energy. These are things we can do. Electric cars. Your own well. If possible. You can't do everything. Yes. Taka myśl mi przeszła przez głowę z tej dyskusji. A thought came to my mind. Jak guru jest taki esencjonalny na ścieżce duchowej? How the spiritual teacher is so essential on the path of the devotional service? Ponieważ Lord Chaitanya, który grał rolę wybiciela. And because Lord Chaitanya, who is playing a role of the devotee. Przyjął. Ale przyjął również sam Krishna, który... And even Krishna himself, he accepted the spiritual master. I on wyborzył wszelkie rodzaje religii podporządku się mieć, i on żądał podporządkowania. And he is saying, give up all kinds of religion and just surrender to him, so he is expecting to surrender. Yeah. Opposition and faith, glory. Yeah. It's not possible to avoid surrender to something or somebody. Uh, niemożliwe jest uniknięcie 
podporządkowania jakiego takiego, jako takiego, hmm. ponieważ Myślę. albo podporządkujemy się czemuś, albo podporządkujemy się komuś. Choose your poison. Wybierz swoją poison. Surrender to somebody. <laughs> The question of who. Podporządkujesz się kom, komuś, tylko pytanie komu. Surrender to money. Możesz się podporządkować pieniądze. Sex or fame. Se, seksowi czy sławie. Swojemu swojej pracy czy zawodowi. Swojemu hobby. To your dog. Swojemu psu. But we will surrender to something or somebody. I podporządkujemy się z pewnością czemuś lub komuś. You gotta serve somebody. You know that song? Jest taka piosenka, musisz komuś służyć. Maybe the devil, maybe the Lord. You gotta serve somebody. Może diabłu, może panu, ale musisz komuś służyć. Bob Dylan. Bob Dylan. You know that song? Znacie tę, tę piosenkę? Maybe. I used to think what would be really be nice is you have a show. People ask you questions, and all the questions are answered with songs. Mm -hmm. But I think all the answers are songs. Do you remember we had this idea at Woodstock to do it? Oh. And that the, and the answer is going to be a song. Yeah. <laughs> we already know all the questions. We have all the songs. So every time we listen, we go, okay, the song. Że fajnie byłoby, gdy jak ktoś ma pytanie, to na każdą odpowiedź na każde pytanie byłoby w formie piosenki, kiedyś będzie znana, może wpadnąć na taki pomysł, że nawet stopu, jak byśmy w momencie pytania odpowiedzi, że będziemy na każde pytanie, będziemy mieli przygotowaną piosenkę i będziemy piosenkę. Jesteśmy jedynie pełen na wietrze. To było z czasów hippisowskich. I believe that there is an answer for every question yeah. uh, with with a song. Yeah. There was a, uh, another one when I was a kid. Um, and one of the lines is, I thought it was love, but I found out it was lust. Myślałem, że to miłość, a to jest pożądanie. Yeah, we, we even had the song for all the tour we uh -huh. spent with my husband. Uh -huh. There is a Polish song, uh, and the, the lyrics are like, mm, the basic lyrics are like, uh, and uh, it's supposed to be so amazing, you know, and some, when something happening in our life and we are singing, and we thought it's going to be so amazing, <laughs> but you know, it's not. <laughs> A miało być tak pięknie. A miało być tak pięknie. But you know the best, the best song. You know the best one. Wiecie, jaka jest najlepsza piosenka? Can I get it? Yes, no. Yeah, I knew that it's the best one. And I try, and I try. Nie mogę zdobyć satysfakcji, nie mogę osiągnąć satysfakcji. Próbuję cały czas i próbuję, ale nie mogę osiągnąć satysfakcji. If that's true of him, he's, he's like in a better position to get satisfaction than like 7.99 billion other people. And he can't get it. <laughs> right? I mean, he can get any girl he wants. Anthony Mick Jagger was in a position to say to a person who is from all these 7 billion people na świecie ma najlepszą pozycję, by osiągnąć satysfakcję, ponieważ ich ma sławę i każdą dziewczynę prawie, którą by pewnie chciał i on mówi, że on nie może osiągnąć satysfakcji. Uh, I would like to ask uh, uh, for a definition of humility and why the humility is so essential on the path of, of devotion and service. Humility is a synonym for the love of Krishna. Pokora is synonymous miłości do Krishna. Humility is reality, you always say. That. When you have prema, you have humility. Jeżeli masz prema, to masz pokorę. When you have pride, you have hate of Krishna. 
Jeżeli masz dumę, to jest nienawiść w stosunku do kogoś. Medytuj o tym dzisiaj wieczorem. Jeżeli byś miał więcej pytania jutro, to... I said the other night, humility is the closest you can get to Christ. Humility is the closest place to Krishna's feet, and pride is the furthest distance distance from Krishna. Tak jak niedawno tutaj właśnie powiedziałam to na wykładzie, że pokora jest takim najbliższym miejscem przy stopach Krishna, a duma jest najbardziej oddalonym miejscem od jego stóp. This is Indian humor. I'm practicing to be a focus guru. I just got to work on my turban and neck. The gestures, you know. So I'm practicing. Okay, last question. I just want to ask you something to engage. Sometimes if someone wants to engage me uh, with something. <laughs> I have a I have a feeling that I'm treated as a as a working machine. Mm -hmm. uh, then I'm uh, saying um, like joking. Uh, uh, that you know, okay, and you are engaging my body, so please engage my intelligence either. Hmm. So I um, thank you very much for your classes because for me it's uh, engaging my intelligence. Hmm. And uh, I have a question. This question seems to be simple. Już nie pamiętam, czy na, na stopach Kryszny, czy na terenie jest ryba. I don't remember uh, on whose feet uh, there is a fish, mark of fish. Czy może wiesz dlaczego? Co ona symbolizuje? And to do you know maybe why? What, what, what is the meaning of that? Mamy koncepcję, że ryby to takie no, niższe gatunki. Uh, we, gatunki. We have this concept that the fish uh, are like the wall, lower species of life. Mm -hmm. There's a backstory to that. Yes, taka historia za kurtynem. Unfortunately, I don't know it. Ale jeszcze nie wiem. Or maybe I know it and I totally forgot. Może znam. It's been like 30 years since I read it. Może możliwe, że pamiętam, a a po prostu już minęło 30 lat, że od tego. Maybe you could research it tonight and then tell us tomorrow what you found. Może ty z panem sprawę, albo ktoś z was bada tę sprawę i jutro. Why the fish on the feet? Czy ktoś tam z was w świecie wirtualnym może wie dlaczego? Dlaczego ryba jest na stopach i co ona reprezentuje? Why anything on the feet? I w, w ogóle cokolwiek tam, co jest, co reprezentuje. Myślę, że jest na pewno wyjaśnienie każdego elementu, każdego znaku. Może ktoś z Was wie. Myślę, że jest tak rano, rozmawialiśmy też o aktualnie, to jakaś historia, tylko nie znamy. No właśnie tu mówię, mam to prawo, że there must be some story behind. Że ryba jest taka niestabilna cały czas. Że to? Ryba jest niestabilna taka, a mimo wszystko jest. A to jest państwa kolacja? Ale to jest twoja spekulacja. Nie, to jest wada. Nie śmiałeś porada. No to jest książka cała. No ale czy to dlatego jest to na stopie z tego powodu, czy tak? No tak, żeby pokazać, że tak jak umysł jest taki niestabilny, ale jak się skoncentruje na stopach Krysny, to może się tam coś tam nie He said that he read something in Veda, that the fish is a very unstable, um, very, I don't know, wind, windical, maybe to było dobre słowo. Uh, but uh, if she, she or he <laughs> wants to, <laughs> must be a she if it's unstable. <laughs> so she, uh, <laughs> that, <laughs> but if she will focus, then she can keep uh, uh, keep 
concentration and uh, it seems to be an example of our mind that mm, mind is wandering and it's whimsic no, whimsical well, definitely we should all tattoo a fish on our foot. instability. We'll find out the real reason tomorrow. Maybe that's the reason. You will tell us tomorrow. You, know? you can do that. Jak możesz nam to odebrać, możesz spróbować. He doesn't know English, so he cannot make researches. Someone volunteer? Who's he? Is it Krishna's, Radharani's, Balaram's, what are you doing? Uh, on, uh, Krishna's feet. Krishna's feet. Fish on Krishna's feet. It evokes uh, the uh, wish in Raja Gopi for loving, uh, I don't know, the Baba. Uh -huh. It evokes the desire. Having fun, the playing, the desire to play. The, playing, the, desire to play. Yeah. the fish on Krishna's feet stimulates the gopis' playfulness. Yeah. I knew it, I just forgot. Yeah, I Like, who would have guessed? Wow. We have, that's interesting. The Krishna. He holds his feet up and the gopis get excited. He holds his feet up and the gopis get excited by seeing the fish. Right? Is that correct? Anything more? Maybe there are some deeper reasons. That's a good reason. She'll find out there anything. We have a a question here or comment. One, Rupa Goswami says, one must promote himself to the platform of goodness by following the instructions of Rupa Goswami. Advancement depends on the attitude of the follower. A devotee in the roof of Krishna conscious movement should become a perfect Goswami. How does that relate to the stories of devotees making great advancement in the last days of their life? Or the story of the ex -Sanyasi. Yeah, mercy and effort. You just try your best where you're lacking, the mercy will make up for it. It has to be that way. Otherwise, we're all hopeless. If it were not that way, as I said often, Prabhupada would have come to America, sized up the situation, and left. And he would have entered in his diary that day, hopeless. <laughs> These people are hopeless. <laughs> but where there's mercy, Mahaprabhu's mercy, Nityananda's mercy, there's unlimited hope for anybody. That's the answer. Okay, should we stop? Yes. Okay, we're going to stop then. She said yes. She loves her body. So the last class, I guess, is tomorrow morning. Yes.
tomorrow night? Tomorrow night. Wow, we have one, two more classes tomorrow morning. 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 If you like controversy. The controversy is stimulating, right? Okay, thank you for coming today. Thank you. 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 Thank you.